Shridhar, you want to talk? I know you're traveling. You want to talk or? Yes, yes, very much, uh, Vishal. I sure. hope what I'm is... loud and clear. You are. So what is that one thing uh, that you know you should be doing, but somehow you're not doing it? You need some push. What is that one thing for you? Don't ever feel inferior, no matter who you're speaking with. This is, uh, I've, I've read your messages. I you know I keep uh, following, reading your messages, daily mentors and afternoons. So this seems to be working for me. I just want to continue, want to implement it. If there are other, other ways of, uh, you know, how do I actually implement it to take my speaking to next level, it helps me. It's just about, just again, stage courage and nervousness. We spoke some time back, Vishal. Um, I just would like to uh, work on it a little more. So if you can help so, me, with, thank you. So what do you think? What is one thing you know you should be doing to, to be confident to whoever you speak to that you're not doing? Is there anything like that for you? Yes, yes. So again, what will that person think? Especially uh, if uh, people are there, if I'm speaking, speaking to my... Uh, seniors my team and if i'm not speaking something sensible if i'm doing silly mistakes so they may see me slightly differently you know so that that's uh, that's the one thing which is which bothers me and hence uh, i get nervous most of the times um so but then when you say don't uh, feel inferior no matter who you're speaking with it gives me the courage so i just want to yeah. do this more and more just if you can help me with the, how do I you know, implement it more? If you if it helps and if uh, if uh, you want me to give a certain example, um, I sent you the pictures of uh, the seventy fifth Independence Day celebrations last Monday. I was invited the chief guest for one of the school, and uh, I yeah. never felt um, I never felt nervous because I, in my mind I prepared the speech and I had posted that speech. Uh, in the WhatsApp group as well. It was 10, 11 minute speech. And um, yeah. never, I felt very, very less nervousness uh, initially in, before the day, but on the day I was ready and I was able to speak, uh, speak uh, in front of set of, let's say 400, 500 uh, students or probably students plus quite a lot wow. of teachers as well. Um, yeah, and then the, maybe one of the reasons why I was not so feeling so nervous is because yeah, these are children and then schools. If I make mistakes, it's not going to impact my career anyway. These teachers are there around. So I was able to uh, bring my thoughts, came up with examples, uh, felt good at the end of the day. So I just thought uh, to thank you and then send those two, those couple of uh, pictures. Awesome. I, I think, think Sridhar deserves a round of applause for this. Amazing. Four, five hundred people on Independence Day as a chief guest. <laughs> Good stuff. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, am I audible? Uh, there was some glitch in between. Yeah, yeah you are. We are clapping for you. <laughs> so, no, no, I just thought. Okay. So, listen, it's not about children. It's not about anything else. It's about you have kept people in the mind as... Tell me this. If not children, if their parents were there who are more, more experienced than you in that room, would you feel nervous that day? No. 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 Okay. Why? Because to you, they are unknown. You have not given them much importance. You understand? So it's an attachment and detachment that, that game you are playing in, in the mind. So one thing you have to understand, Frida, is, see, if, like I was talking about, it's a pattern. And everything that you're doing right now is because of your current pattern. And in, in my one-on-one coaching program, I teach you more about this. But here is a challenge for you. 